fish dumping. It's as Kiwi as fish and chips. The study also exposes deliberate fish dumping. The illegal dumping of fish openly discarded substantial quantities of fish. Did you know that every year in New Zealand, tons and tons of perfectly healthy fish and sea life are thrown into the ocean dead or dying? Does that seem right? We've seen seas covered in dead fish. 20 to 100 per cent of some quota fish were being discarded. Momo Kai. What a waste of good food! Why does fish dumping happen? Well, when they're using big nets, they're scooping everything up. They can't choose what comes up in the net. So some of it they're going to need to throw back. You're fishing. You're catching all manner of things, but you're restricted to what you can land. Some fish that they catch can't be sold. There's no market for endangered penguins. Some fish can be sold, but it's not in their quota. It's not on their shopping list, so over it goes. There's also high grading, which is when a more profitable fish is caught, the less profitable but perfectly healthy fish is ditched. So there's lots of pressures to discard under a quota system, but, but that's sort of endemic across the whole industry. You need cameras to see what's coming on board to minimise and mitigate damage to the sea floor and to other organisms. In New Zealand, we have laws and regulations to protect our oceans, but we don't have a way of ensuring compliance with those laws without cameras on boats. The overwhelming reason that we need cameras is because we have found that the self-reported data from commercial vessels isn't particularly accurate. When there is some form of verification, cameras or observers on board, reporting by fishers changes. We know that putting cameras on fishing boats will help change how much waste is dumped into our oceans every year. So the burning question that I have, as a Kiwi, who loves our oceans, is why don't we have cameras on boats? We know we can change this. We know we absolutely need to change this for the sake of our oceans, but we have been waiting for years. And there are no excuses, really. Camera trials kicked off 14 years ago. We've had years of trials, trials and delay after delay. It seems successive ministers and the ministry have dropped the ball on this one. This year the minister announced cameras to be rolled out on about one third of boats by 2024. Now if cameras are supposed to offer us protection, I think we're gonna get burnt, cuzzies. All the delays have been red herrings. There's nothing to invent. There's, there's nothing to test. You could call Archipelago today and have them here to do the job for you. Mm, so New Zealand's a, a bit behind. New Zealand's a generation behind. It's hard to find a serious fishing nation that hasn't embraced it, and certainly not a Western country. Who's holding the whistle at regulating the game? And for sure, so far, it's definitely the corporate industry because government's been defeated at every attempt we need the government and the Ministry of Fisheries to be the referee for New Zealand to make sure out on the water the rules are being followed for the health of the oceans and for all of us. We can't keep doing what we're doing. We know this waste is unnecessary. We can reduce this if we get cameras on boats. Our magnificent oceans need your help. Please sign the petition for change. Join the campaign and together we will get cameras on boats. No fish and chips were harmed in the making of this video.